It is time for some better cooking, everybody, and smoothie bowls have become one of the hottest new breakfast trends around because not only did they taste great, they also look like a piece of art. So joining us this afternoon to talk about making those Instagram-worthy smoothie bowls is Ninja's first-ever smoothie bowl sommelier, Jillian Barkum. Jillian, thank you for joining us, and uh, this is a pleasure to speak with a, 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 a smoothie sommelier. So how can you make the perfect smoothie bowl? Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm so glad to be here. And you know, I think that a lot of people, like we're seeing it trending, right? You're, you're yeah. mentioning that. I think a lot of people have been at home. They're they're excited to do some fun stuff in their kitchen. So we're seeing people get really creative with it. And, you know, different than a smoothie, a smoothie bowl has that thick, creamy texture. And like you mentioned, it, they look, can look beautiful. They can almost look like art because you can have so much fun with the toppings. And that's why we're seeing people take pictures of them and share them and tell their friends about them. And they are becoming so, so popular. No doubt. And is this kind of like a make your own Sunday type thing or are there actual flavor pairings you should focus on here? You know, there's really no wrong way to do it. You can have a lot of fun with it, but I will say the one big tip is you have to have the right tool. You need the Ninja Foodie Smoothie Bowl Maker and Nutrient Extractor. This thing takes the guesswork out of it and makes it so easy and it creates a really spoonable smoothie bowl that you want. And it has some really cool features. So it has this smart twerk technology, which basically means it's powerful. It's going to blend through all of those frozen ingredients and give you that amazing texture. It also has this auto IQ program. So you just press these buttons, hands off. It does all the work for you. And there's a great little tamper at the top. So this helps you add in more of those frozen ingredients, less of the liquid. Because again, you want to be really thick and creamy. You don't want it to be soupy or runny like you might get with a regular smoothie. Mm. You want it thick and creamy. And this helps you do it. And I have to say, one of my favorite features as a busy working mom is it's really easy to clean up. So you just wipe the base off and then all of the blender parts can go right into the dishwasher. Oh, that is simple right there. And I was going to ask, how do you get it to be thick then? Now, I was going to go for like something like a yogurt or something, but you're saying more frozen ve or veggie and, and, and fruit? Yeah, so the frozen fruit, and I, I, I speak in some veggies being a dietitian, so yeah. I'm going to share a great recipe with you too where it has a little bit of veggies in there. But yeah, that frozen component is really going to make it really thick. You can add th in things like yogurts or even like for the one that I made, I added some protein powder to have a little bit more protein in there. Um, but one that I made that I think you'll love, you'll have to try this recipe. Mm -hmm. It's called a seriously fruity smoothie bowl. So it's based off of those yummy fruity cereals that we had as kids when we we're watching cartoons on a Saturday <laughs> morning. You'll love this one. So you blend together the frozen strawberries and bananas. That's that really thick base like you're talking about. A little bit of coconut milk, coconut cream, protein powder, and kind of a unique ingredient here is this frozen rice cauliflower. So that's the veggie that huh. I threw in here. I promise you won't even taste it. You won't taste it. I have two very picky taste testers, my two daughters. <laughs> They're four and two, and they loved it. So if they loved it, anyone will. And then just have fun with the toppings. You can add the cereal on, add fresh fruit even a sprinkle of coconut, whatever you like. Yeah, I mean, that that truly does look masterful right there. It makes me want to, like, just jump through the TV and start uh, start eating what's in that bowl. Um, all right, so, Jillian, uh, where do people go to get more information, uh, recipes like you have? Um, any tips there? Yeah, you're going to want to go to ninjakitchen.com. In fact, they have a great promo going on. If you use the code BLEND20, you're going to get $20 off your very own Ninja Foodie Smoothie Bowl Maker. You can also go to at Ninja Kitchen on Instagram. They're going to have information on products, recipes, and a fun social event that we're doing. It's a virtual event called a Smoothie Bowl Social where I will help you add Smoothie Bowl Expert to your resume. So you're not going to want to miss that. And of course, I would love to connect with all of you too. So please follow me on Instagram at Millennial Nutrition. I'll be sharing all of my Smoothie Bowl tips and recipes there. All right, Jillian, I really do appreciate it. We got like 10 seconds left, so I wonder if you could settle a debate I was having earlier with somebody. Is it an acai bowl or an acai bowl? Oh, that's a good one. I say a, a, a acai bowl. Okay. I don't know if that's right, but I always say acai, so that's what I'm going with. Yeah, me I'm too. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> you and me both. We will die on that hill. Thank you very much, Jillian, for coming on today. I hope our viewers can go check out Thank that. You. Get 20% off, all right?